And then I'll start the transcripts too. Okay, cool. Welcome to the September 1st meeting of the Chaos Common Working Group. I will share my screen with the agenda so that we have that. Perfect. So don't forget to add your name to the list if you'd like to. I don't have a snappy request. I think Elizabeth is better at those than I am. So if anyone wants to request anything for us to put there, that's, that's cool too. Um, okay, so let's run through, let's run through the agenda. Um, looks like somebody added the, the meeting attendee count as a new metric in the metrics model group. Um, that was me. Cool. And that was on the agenda from last time too, I think. Um, and it's also come up at the metrics models group, as it says. So um, if we want to take time to look through it, awesome. If not, that's cool too. Okay. Let's uh, let's come back to that because I think some of these others we have PRs and those should be really pretty easy to close out. So let's let's close out on a couple of them that we can, and then and then come back to it. That's all right. Uh, okay, so Matt, it looks like you created the PR for occasional contributors. Yep, should be good. Thank you. Yep. Um, is there anything else that we need to do, or do we do we just no. merge that? I don't remember. We can just it's based, this is based on all of our okay prior conversations. And so, um, so when you when you did this, did you just look at what was different and then make the, those changes? I'm just curious, like the process you used. I just copied. The, and, I just copied and pasted the whole document. The whole document, yeah. I okay. didn't go piece by piece. Okay, cool. Um, okay, well, let's just we'll just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and merge that one. Would you prefer that we go piece by piece? Do you have a? No. Okay. No. Um, no, I was just curious if I copied and pasted the whole thing in, if it would, if GitHub would do a very good job of tracking the, like knowing what what was added and what was deleted. It seems like it does. But it seems to have done that yes. pretty well. And, That's and why it, I wanted to make sure that you had copied and pasted the whole thing, or whether you had gone through the work. That it of, wasn't that it wasn't just like all red and all green. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. No, and we need that too as we get these to over to translations because they need to see. Yeah. Okay. Um, types of contributions. I think that might have been the other. Oh, no, those clones. That was the other other pull yeah. request. Um, who was who was working on? But not me. No, types of contributions is me. Uh, oh, okay. clones, clones and technical fork is for that. Okay. Cool. So, and it's, um, uh, I took a peek in GitHub. There are no new names. The, we were waiting on the uh, finalizing the con contrib contributors list here. So the, there were no, no names on the, uh, in GitHub that would yeah. be added. So it was actually, it was just me there and uh, Riddick was there as well, but Riddick wasn't. Uh, I think Riddick was there because of the, uh, the GitHub kind of file folder structure thing we did uh, a year or so ago. So I don't think he actually contributed on the uh, the metric. Okay. Uh, so I didn't add him. So uh, I suppose we could ask we could ask on the Slack channel if anyone wants to be added or removed. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I think this group has tended to be kind of smaller and uh, and kind of looks like it does now, except we're missing yeah. the nod. So. Um. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to ask on Slack and see if anybody steps up um, before you issue the PR, that's that's cool. If you want to just issue the PR and then anybody who wants to add themselves later, we can we can add them. Okay. With another but, PR. Yeah, otherwise, I think it's ready to go. Okay, cool. Um, so the organizational diversity one is almost ready to go. Um, Sean, do you have any organizational diversity? 
uh, visualizations from Augur that you want to provide? Yeah, I saw I, I saw that request. Okay. And the short the short answer is what we don't have is really good data um, on on organizational membership because we don't have that. You know, we I don't have a good reference absent a company who is maintaining that data. Okay. Um, and I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what you all do for maintaining it. Like I know there's that, uh, CNCF email list, but my impression is that most companies actually spend some effort maintaining that data themselves. Am I, am I right about that, Don? Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's, and, and um, it's, it's a pain. So we have a structure, we that. can produce it, but I don't have anyone like, that has maintained it in a way that I can produce the report to show organizational okay. diversity. I was going to look and see what the, so this is the visualization that we have from, or at least the link to, a, uh, sorry, maybe that's not the visualization. Sorry. Um, yeah. Isn't oh, it's linked to the tool. Like it. Yeah, it had it. It did have it, but that's not. Um, oh, here, here's the visualization. That was a, a link to a live dashboard. Oh, I see what you, yeah, okay. Oh, that's the, I mean, we, I mean, does this, uh, do you know if they're, so I, I'm kind of anal retentive about data. Do you know if they're just skipping people who don't affiliate or have they actually affiliated everyone in that repo would be your guess? I, I have no idea. This is just an image yeah. that somebody added when they created the metric. I have no idea what that data represents. I mean, so, so yeah, here's the thing, the way, the oh, way that, that I look at the, the, the way that I look at LFN. the visualizations, Sean, is it really is an example of how you can visualize it. I don't okay. know that the data has to be perfect. Well, and I just saw that it was an LFX d piece of data, so I can almost promise you the data is not any good at all. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> but it's an example of how you can visualize that data. This is my point. Okay. I'm not. Okay. I, can I don't think we have to be super anal retentive about the data itself. I think yeah. as long as as we're showing an example of how the data might look. All right. Yeah, that I can do. That I have, okay. in fact. Uh, so let me put. Let me make a note to put that into that. Okay. Cool. That is does, the uh, organizational diversity metric visualization. Does, yes. Does right. Drupal does Drupal do a, a visualization that would show that? I know they. I know that the the contribution attribution metric that we looked at. Uh, uh, that we did uh, a little while ago, and it actually came up in uh, DEI yesterday. Uh, rem remembering back to when we defined that metric, a big part of that was actually understanding organization attribution or organizational attribution as well. Uh, is there, is anyone familiar with, uh, does Drupal do any sort of kind of organizational attribution uh, Drupal has a very sophisticated yeah Drupal is a very sophisticated if you haven't been in those conversations process mm -hmm. for attribution it's not just here's who you work for mm -hmm. it's you know are you doing this on behalf of the client and what's the client are you what's the company you're doing it on behalf of who are you and right. how do you and then they actually apply percentages based on different factors to each of those parts of your identity. Um, so Drupal's like the most sophisticated contributor organizational diversity thing I've ever seen. Right. So they might, they might have a visualization that would, uh, that would fit here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. what, what I have seen is they just do rank ordering of the most contributing organizations so i'm not sure they actually do this for the purpose of org diversity but they may we could reach out to the gentleman whose name i forget matthew tift mm -hmm. 
Matthew Tift is exactly it. That's a very rememberable name too. So that's on me. Um, do, you, so, do we want to reach out to them and see if see if they have that? Like, do we do we feel like we need an, an additional visualization if we have the auger one? Probably not. Don't we have we have uh, cauldron auger LFX? Was that right? Yeah. I'm looking through Drupal stuff right now. And um, the other the other question I had for you, Sean, was in the references section, there's just a kind of a blank link to Augur, just like the Augur repository. <laughs> Is there oh, a better a link? Um, like the documentation page on organizational diversity or something that you could something yeah, specific to organizational this. diversity? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll find that. Okay, that would be that would be helpful. Um, I think we went through this in the last meeting. Are there any any other comments on this metric, or is this good once we clean up the visualizations? I think it was good. Okay. Okay. So I have um, the action item. I did find something. I'll put it here. What? I found something from Drupal. If oh, from Drupal. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of running through this fast, but like halfway down the page. Go like halfway down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There. I don't. I haven't really read, but this was like seems to be organization and companies for credit. Mm -hmm. And a couple of their the article that took me to this actually does mention and actually links out to our organizational diversity metric in chaos <laughs> nice uh how's this licensed it doesn't say because i can't just grab it no i know here. um Fair. it doesn't say and it's on a it's somebody's on a blog yeah it's somebody else's blog too it, it's yeah. on well it's Dries. he's the founder of drupal oh there's a there's a link to how diverse is drupal Ooh. I could just looks like it was just kind of it under references or something. Um, we could put it like as a reference. Oh, is that what you just said, Elizabeth? <laughs> as the words were coming out of my mouth, I'm like, I think I just heard somebody say this. <laughs> that was better when it comes out of your mouth, though, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Wait, it was the was this the was this the one? Let me just make sure I'm linking to the right right page. That is the page, yeah. Okay. I think that uh, thing on the side was just an anchor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can add that. Um oh, wait, is that a oh, that's a nested nested bullet point I didn't catch. Let me fix that too. Oops. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll probably update this to today. Okay, cool. Um, 
So that one is is as done as we're going to get it today. Um, oh, Benod's not here. Oh no, there you are. Sorry, you're behind my chat window. <laughs> I, uh, I, I am back. My PC just got froze, so I have to restart it and come back. Oh no worries. <laughs> Um, so it looks like the other PR we have is for the clones. Yes. Okay. So we just we just need to merge that one. Does anybody have any yeah. questions before we merge it? Can we have a clone war first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. A little Star Wars reference had to, had to get it in there. Okay. I'll just go ahead and merge that one. We'll okay. call that done. Cool. So I I have one question, like uh, we have a regular release where we announce that these are the metrics that we have uh, developed, but uh, what will be the process for the review? Like we have reviewed say, 10 metrics, how we are going to announce them or what will be the procedure? Like this is just got amended directly on the metric and now on the website will pull the amended uh, metric. Is there going to be any announcement or any procedure? Have you thought of it? Not really. I mean, I'm kind of agreeing with Kevin shaking his head no. So, I mean, we have these minor changes that we're doing. Yep. And so, I mean, it's maybe at some point we could just announce on Slack that, hey, you know, these have all been updated. Um, okay. It, that should be pretty easy to track because any issue that goes into the translations repo is meant yep. to just it's just meant to have a list of any of the metrics that have minor changes. So like when common is done doing the review, we're just going to issue one or just okay. post one issue. Okay. Um, and then the there are metrics, for example, that came out of DEI. I think two have major changes, and those will have to go through the entire the entire process and they will just be announced okay. with, the, with the release. So okay. Cleaning up the notes a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, contributor location. I think, Sean, this is one that you had the action item to do. Is there any progress on this one? Of course not. Because I don't make progress on anything. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having, a, I'm having one of those days where it's like, do I ever get anything done? And then I look, I do, but not these things. Um, so, contributor location, right? Yep. All right. I'm Putting that we'll give you a pass with the broken foot and everything. So yeah, well, that's not even a good excuse. <laughs> uh, but I'll I'll take the, both the contributor location. It's it's in there and it's it's going on it's going on my whiteboard too. Okay. Cause... And then technical fork. I think you know this is one you were working on, right? Is there anything yep. you need to talk about this week? Uh, just to review it. I've made few changes, and other things are pretty uh, same because it's a new metric, so doesn't need much changes. So um, scroll it down. I have my changes suggestions. These are mostly to the reference, I guess. Can you? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yep. These are the few changes. And because this was like pretty new metric in the last release, so it doesn't have much changes, but a little bit formatting and fixing of the links. So there was, I'm, I guess I was looking at the screen. So there's really not much at the top in part because it was just released, is that right? Yes, and uh, okay. these this metric and the clone metric are like exact uh, replica slight tweaking because both represent something similar. So I, I tallied them also and I referred them, I've created the same formatting, only references were fixed a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Seems pretty straightforward. Yes. So if Anyone everyone any... is, yeah, uh, if any issues or anything, or then uh, from my end, it's ready for the release. Uh, like I can create a PR and get it launched.
Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. Um, and then as promised, let's go back to the meeting attendee count metric, which we said we'd come back to since that was going to take a little more time. I like how Google just randomly, I'm, I'm literally signed into my VMware account right here. And I don't it, understand it, it, it asks me every single time which account I want to open it in. And you did you see that like the different ones where it picked a different account? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And this is <laughs> relatively new. It's like three or four months old and it shows up all the time. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Mm -mm. This is the which which ones? Are, what am I? Um, what you're sharing is not what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, this is the meeting attendee count. Oh, okay. So I, 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 you were you referring to the GitHub thing, but I wasn't. I was looking for. It, oh no, it's just a some sort of weird permissions thing with Google Drive right now, where it just uh, it picks a random Google account that you have and says it's opening it using that, even though everything else in this browser is open using another account. Oh yeah, I've had that I've had that for a couple of months. It's super yeah. annoying. It's doing it that to me right now. I log out of, what I do is I log out of all of my accounts and then I log into the one that I wanna be in and that fixes it. Yeah, well, I see I have, sorry, this is not a common meeting, but, um, but I have a complicated thing where I've got one, browser window with a whole bunch of tabs that are logged in as my personal stuff like my personal gmail yep. and, you know calendars and all kinds of other stuff and then i've got like the vmware one which is a separate one like this one which is logged into my vmware account um yep. and it does it it that worked beautifully for years until like you said two or three months ago yep i don't know what they did uh, um, okay so, sorry Get, back to the also back to the Sorry, go ahead, Vinod. I was saying a suggestion, use a multiple, like for your office, use Google Chrome, and then for personal Firefox, just switch it between two, it'll, it'll solve the problem for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have too much history in Google Chrome. Um, okay, does someone wanna walk through this? I have not been involved in this at all. Um, yeah, I can. Yeah. Um, so this came up as a requested metric from one of the metrics models and um, that they thought would be, uh, I don't even remember which mo model it was though, Matt or Sean or Kevin or whoever was in that meeting. Do y'all remember? I don't remember. Uh, I can figure it out. Maybe it was maybe. one of them. I know that. Definitely one of them. I, I, maybe, <laughs> maybe community activity. Uh, but the that metric ha, or that model has like a lot of metrics in it. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't remember. It was one that June and Yahoo had been working on. So um, they realized that this was a metric they wanted to include, but it didn't exist. So I said, "Hey, I will do it because I keep track for chaos, and so I understand why you would want to keep track of this." So that's where it came from. So it's it's aims just to. Um, Super straightforward. Just count the number of people that show up at meetings. Cool. I also did provide a little context around how many, um, because I feel like this is one of the metrics that people would maybe want to hit a ballpark. And I don't think you can, because it, it's so context dependent you know how many people do you want at your meeting so I, I did add a little blurb in there about there's no perfect number for attendees at meetings it really depends on what you want yeah that makes sense yeah more is not necessarily better when it comes to community meetings like like this meeting would probably be super ineffective if all of a sudden we had 30 people in it as an example. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so what do we want to do on this one? Do we want to just take a pause and spend some time reading through it? And then and then talk about it? Do people want to go off and look at it asynchronously? Do we feel like this has been looked at by enough people that we don't need to scrub it? 
We could just take maybe five minutes. That'd be good. Okay. I guess it won't take very long. Yeah, nobody has seen this at all. So okay. Back on. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, do you want to talk about any of these changes, or do you want to just kind of go offline and? Yeah, I mean, I guess if anybody has strong feelings, I'll, I'll just probably accept all the changes. If somebody has strong feelings um, about something that they don't want included, let me know. Or if someone wants to talk about the changes they're suggesting. I'm not sure what this means. Which which bit? Is it are you pointing to what I just wrote or are you sorry, can you see what I'm highlighting on the shared screen? Oh yeah, uh, region wise. Screen, right? ah. Yeah. Okay. I was I was trying to communicate that uh it also indicates if the meetings are in uh, which meetings are being attended by uh, people from the different regions. Like if uh, some meetings are only from the US side, but not from the Asian people. So that that is what I was trying to communicate in this. Okay. So I have something similar in the, uh, the considerations for meeting diversity, equity, and inclusion that I added below. Oh, okay. which, which basically which basically says that synchronous meetings may be less inclusive due to geographic location and time differences. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is which exactly I think is what, what you're was... getting at, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, one thing I was um, looking for input if anyone knows is if the list of platforms that I mentioned sounded a little US centric to me because those are the ones that I have heard of. But if there are others that um, are in other places that y'all know of that people use, we can add them here. It might be worth asking some of the folks in China because they tend to use different different tools. The ones you have are the ones that I see being used a lot in both mm -hmm. Europe and the US. Okay. So those, like I see Jitsi and Big Blue Button over here quite a bit. Along with the usual suspects, Google Meet and Zoom. Okay. Anybody else want to make any comments before Elizabeth takes this off? And okay. I have nothing to add. I think it's in pretty good shape. Okay. Um, do we do we want Elizabeth to bring it back into the meeting for one last look or just do a PR for it? I think a PR would be fine, particularly if it's just like, you know, straightforward edits. Yeah, I would agree. It's pretty, pretty straightforward metric and it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Okay, I'm just looking through to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, I had no. one comment. I did, I did have one comment. If you go, go back up to where Elizabeth was, with that, that point right there. Yeah. So I've been going through um, all of the, like the uh, metrics models and DEI, and I'm gonna put, I'll just put it in here. Um, Uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't look great, but um, these are the metrics that are currently kind of being asked to be developed by the different like initiatives, you know, or from the metrics models group. And so I just, I can remove this. I just wanted to have you take a look. Um, meeting count was for common and it, that's done. Mm -hmm. And then maintainer count was another one that was asked for from the metrics model working group. Okay. And then is if that, you scroll is down. Is that supposed to be a link or is that just? No, it's just underlined, sorry. And then evolution, those are the ones, I, I kind of just 
put things where I thought they would go working group. So I guess the question is, is are there any in evolution that you think might be common? Of those I'll, I'll uh, be honest, I haven't been that involved in in evolution. So I mm -hmm. would say if, if evolution wants to pick all of these up, that's that's cool. If there are any that evolution thinks don't fit and should be okay. involved. Yeah, I think um, I'm gonna think yeah, downloads could be valuable. In, I mean, you just move them around, but I think I think we've kind of agreed that you know these where they get created sort of ends up being pretty random. Okay, so then so then just as far as that conversation goes, then there's one more from common, it would be maintainer account now. Okay, so then, whoops. Uh, you said you're just gonna delete all this, right? Yeah, I will. I just wanted to show you the full list. Yeah, cool. yep. um, Does anybody want to take the? I guess we could take downloads here. Downloads might fit in common as well. It, I think it's fine in evolution too. But we did we did clones and forks. So if if clones and forks can exist here, downloads might fit as well. Yes. What do you think, Sean? Since you've been more involved in evolution, I I think it doesn't. It doesn't really like I, my belief is it doesn't really matter like if okay. it was moving things around it's it's like uh so it feels a little bit to me like um rearranging deck chairs <laughs> you know we're all gonna sit where we sit and you know i, 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 I it strong. doesn't matter it's really who wants to do the work so yeah the the evolution list is really long so if we were to take another one yeah. here that would uh that would relieve some stress on evolution yeah yeah, I think, and I think um, maybe let's give it one cycle. Let's see how things go. Uh, I, I think um, Armstrong's taken over coordination for evolution. I'll still be there, and um, I won't have to coordinate the meeting and take notes. So I, I may be able to actually jump in and do some work um, in that meeting. So let's let's give it a cycle and see what happens, and if if it doesn't. If progress doesn't start to occur on these these edits, then then let's see if we need to distribute the work elsewhere. Yeah, I think that's the central issue. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, does anyone want to pick up maintainer count and start working on it? Sorry, I Don't data Sean just jumped to. Um, my, my, I, my first thought was, oh, how do I get maintainer count? How do I identify that? What what API do I call? But that's not what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just going to give uh, myself the action item to find someone. Are we still, so are we, we're defining new metrics now? We're not still in the, uh, the freeze? Well, this is just a... I mean, this is just a request that came from the metrics model working group. It's a metric they're using, they'd like to use in one of their models. And so we can still bring them to a working group, can't we? Absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah, I just, I, in the past we had talked about we were holding off on releasing metrics till we were done with the metrics review. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's just, yeah, so. Okay, so how about if I do this? After the freeze, we should start working on this one. Um, Matt, do you mind adding this to the spreadsheet? Uh, no, not at all. And I'll add the other one too that Elizabeth did. I think that one's in there already. The meeting attendee is. Where? Well, I thought it was. Maybe is I didn't. Is it in common? Uh, people, yeah, in common under people. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I want to live like I want to live like common people. <laughs> Sorry. And, and by the way, the the freeze that we had discussed before, uh, 
coincides with the release date. So the uh, October, I think, is when the freeze would end. October is when the freeze starts here, but OK. OK. All right, I think we hit everything in the agenda. Is there, oh, aside from the fact that we're not meeting next time because of Open Source Summit EU, our little little conference break. Uh, anything else anybody wants to talk I, about? I have just added one thing. Uh, time waiting for reviewer action was in my list. And when I was looking yesterday on the comments working sheet, I didn't find this. And in the morning, it came in my shower that, oh, I'm missing some metric. So this <laughs> metric is ready for release, except we need visualization. So from Augur, they, uh, sorry, from Grimoire Lab, they don't have visualization. Now only visualization I need is from Augur. What's, so the, what's the metric again? What's the metric again, Vinod? Time waiting for reviewer action. All right, um, okay. I'm going to look so, at the. I'm going to have to look at the definition of that metric to determine okay. how we calculate it because there. I can think of three or four ways to calculate that. Okay. And that's that why we have we, definitions. Have we have have we all looked at that one, or is that just one we're proposing? No, we all have looked at it. It has been reviewed. It is only waiting for the visualization. Uh, once we have visualization, we need to create the PR. So we have reviewed it like um, maybe two months back. Okay. Have I have I mentioned that I don't like the name? I don't remember now. <laughs> you're often you're often very shy, Kevin. I, I am. Okay. Uh, so just from a from a other metrics that exist issue. We have we have many metrics that have time in them, yep. uh, and there's some inconsistency in the way that we title these metrics. So some of them are duration, some of them are time to. Uh, this one is time uh, waiting. I think yes, uh, we discussed this specifically in common where I uh, duration and time waiting both were discussed, and the time was finalized for this metric. That's what my recollection. So is. if we were to if if we were to match the other time ones, then it would be time to reviewer action. Uh, or some of them end with time rather than beginning with time. It, I don't know. There's just, there's some inconsistency that makes me uncomfortable every time I see one of these. Uh, so uh, feel free to leave it the way it is, but I will, I will mention it every time. So. You're more than welcome to mention it. We Anybody have else have any strong feelings that. on the on the name? Anybody else want to chime in on that discussion? I don't have strong feelings for the title, but I see Kevin's point just to be consistent. Mm -hmm. So we have one that's called defect resolution time. Yep. So that is different than first response, obviously, right? This one is a first response. No, no, it's I'm saying resolution time and first response time are two different things. Yeah. Yeah. Defect resolution okay. time is more of a that's more of a duration, I would suppose. Yes. Uh, the time between I tell you it broke it's broke and the time that between that and when you fix it. Mm -hmm. Or don't fix it. Uh, it's uh, time and between reviews it. Like when a request or PR is submitted. I see. And, okay. So this is review resolution time. Yes. Just different than issue, than issue yeah. resolution time. Okay. So oh, this it's like how long so, it takes to review a PR you receive. Oh, then this isn't this isn't time to review or action. This is this is the duration that the review takes. Yeah. If you look at the question, how long does it take mm -hmm. a reviewer to review a specific change request? Yeah, I don't I don't think this is reviewer action then. Because this, the way that title sits, this looks like it's a time to first response, right? Or a time to uh, a first action. It's, it's not the duration of the review itself. Okay, what, 
uh, we're about out of time. What I would like to recommend, Kevin, is that um, maybe you or somebody else could go through the, the list of metrics um, with the kind of time duration um, and just put them in, in sort of a spreadsheet or organize them in some way. And, and maybe we look at them collectively and come up with with kind of a schema for how we how we do this or sort of a framework for how we think about the time metrics. If they are if they are tagged correctly in the uh, in the spreadsheet, we could actually just search them by the lifestyle life cycle context tag. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking if we put them, if we put them in kind of a, a spreadsheet, we can we can yeah. categorize them. Like this should be a duration one, this should be whatever, and then um, retitle them all in one place, and have yeah. that way we can review them in the like in the main meeting, the weekly meeting. Yeah. Because this is going to be something that cuts across, I assume, all the. Yeah, and I, I'm just I'm just saying I think they're I think it's already organized, so I'll just pull them out of yeah. the spreadsheet because these okay. these all should be tagged as life cycle. So I can just go okay. to the spreadsheet and grab all of the life cycle ones and then we awesome. can look at them and which ones are time to first response, which ones are duration of action, which ones are whatever. Okay. Because if we come up with sort of sort of a framework for how we deal with the the titles of the time based metrics, then we can apply it to this one before the node does the PR. Okay. So, uh, whoops, this is not where we are. Um, oh no, that is where we are. Okay. So, Kevin, to look at titles for time based. And I need to run, I have another meeting. Okay, cool. Anything else we need to talk about? We did a lot. We did. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Thanks everybody for okay. for joining us. And we'll talk to you all later. See ya. Bye. Bye.